It is my favorite room here because it exemplifies the great virtues of generosity and humility. Quality is necessary to operate smoothly within the workings of the capital. A quality all the other noblemen whom I have received seem to grasp. Are you beginning to understand the point of our talk? Yes. Very impressive. You really intend giving all this away? I'm reaching the end of my patience with you. We can play this game as long as you like. But you'll receive no bribe from me. Is that what this is to you? A game? How do you think the Emperor would respond to his command being thought of as a game? Since your only threat seems to be running to the Emperor like a pouting child, you should ask him as soon as possible. I need not ask. You were ordered to this review by the Emperor, and yet you reject his work. I reject any attempt by you to exert some delusional power over me. It is you who live under illusion, not me. I offer you no threat, but a promise. I will not only take your property and standing, but I will turn everything connected to the Bartok name into dust. And when I'm done, it will be as if neither you nor any generation before had ever existed. You should be careful not to overstep. Something wrong? Oh. I have known many like you. Men who, once their hairs bleed gray and their spines cut them like daggers, come to revise their own history. Ah! Truth is that your innermost fear is in fact your most striking <laughs> attribute. You are irrelevant. You have neither cast a shadow nor left any footprints upon the great legacy of the Bartok clan. Your only achievement was being born into nobility. And you somehow failed to reproduce even that. Guards! Guards! You draw your blade on the minister of the emperor. 